I wonder if you have ever noticed what a difference there is in the sound of bells. Of course, when I speak of bells, I don't mean the ordinary morning milk bell, the bell that heralds the approach of the vendor of milk. Not that I have anything to say against milkmen as milkmen. In fact, I believe it is to a milkman we're indebted for that most delightful little song, Flow on thou shining river. I don't know, mind you, but I believe so. But I mean the church bells. Of course, you've all heard the church bells. You hear them sometimes on a Sunday morning when you're going fishing. You've all heard them, haven't you, really? You hear them sometimes when you're going to church. If the wind happens to be in the right direction, well, they're supposed to sound very beautiful. At least this is how they're represented to us. Personally, I don't think it's a little bit like it. Something after the style I'm going to show you will be much more effective and, in my opinion, much more realistic. Something like this. Well, then, you know, on a Sunday morning when you are just enjoying that last half hour, which is always the most delightful of all, you hear the little church bell, the little church bell that says, Do get up. Do get up. Isn't it irritating? Do get up. It sounds more like three blind mice, doesn't it, really? Of course, you do get up. Well, you can't possibly sleep with a noise like this going on, can you? Then there's the little mission bell. You know the little mission bell, the one that says, Be quick. And you have the two going together. Do get up, be quick. Isn't it awful, really? Not long ago, I was taking a walk and I came to an old church. It once was distinctly fashionable, but now it seemed quite deserted because everybody had gone to live in the suburbs. And this poor old relic of the past had a single bell, very monotonous and heavy in character. It appeared to be ringing its own knell. You've all heard this particular bell. You've all heard it. It belongs to the little church that's too far to go to. You know that church, don't you? Most convenient little church, really. Well, then, continuing my journey, I came to a struggling mission, and they'd invested in a bell, and I'm sorry to say it was far from being what I might term a pleasant-sounding bell. In fact, well, I'm inclined to think it was a trifle cracked. However, you shall judge for yourselves. This was it. Have you ever heard this particular bell? It's a jolly little bell, really, is it not, when you get used to it? Well, then we have the ordinary chimes. Very ordinary indeed, until you just put a little bit of something to them with the right hand, which makes all the difference. And this is the little bit of something. 